Right. Exam two is next week. Um, it's going to be on March 22nd. That's a Wednesday. Uh, just like last time, we're going to review for the exam in class on Monday and then have the exam in class on Wednesday. Um, just like last time, you are allowed to use any personally produced notes, right? So you have to have written the answers, typed the answers, drawn the answers, but as long as it's personally produced um, and not just printed PowerPoints or a printed website, that's totally fine. Um, you can use, or you cannot use an electronic device, right? So you can't use computers, you can't use your phones unless you're using it um, for a calculator. Um, but on this exam, I don't think you're going to need a calculator. Um, and just like last time, right? Exam questions are gonna require you to demonstrate the knowledge of the process, not just memorization, right? So if you just write down everything I say in your notes, but you don't actually understand it, then you're not gonna be able to apply it to the new questions that are on the exam. You actually have to understand the processes. Um, you probably noticed from the last exam that uh, the questions on last year's exam were very, very similar to the questions on this year's exam. They were changed just enough that, again, you'd have to understand the process in order to be able to answer it because you can't just write, rewrite the same answer. Um, so I highly encourage you to work through last year's exam as a practice. Come see me if you have any questions, um, and that'll prepare you well for this exam. Um, all right. If you are watching this video over spring break, I hope you're enjoying your spring break. And I look forward to seeing you next week when we talk about Paleozoic life, the last topic before your exam.